Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in. Uh, before we get started with today's video, I do want to apologize for a couple of things. Uh, first, there's a little extra noise. Um, the truck remained running because it was cold out and we needed to keep a uh, phone charged. Um, but also there was a lift nearby that was running as well because we were filming at a ski resort. The other part is there's a couple of large sections of video where there isn't actually any video. Uh, we set my phone up and, and it managed to record a total of 41 seconds before the battery died. Uh, so I had to record some of this stuff uh, from the warmth of my office at home. Uh, and then I got to play around with the pan and zoom function of the software. So bear with me, thank you for your understanding, and now to your regularly scheduled program. Hello everyone, my name is Bill Leedy. Uh, if you enjoy this video, you can find more from me on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube under the name Green Mountain Car Guy. Uh, you can also find more of my thoughts on this car and many others on autotrader.com. What we have here for you today is a 2003 Ford Excursion. This one has only had one owner, and it does have a little secret, but we'll get back to that in a minute. Back in the 90s, the Ford Expedition was their answer to the Chevrolet Top. Uh, it was about the same size as that, uh, but it was a bit small to compete with the Chevrolet Suburban. In the year 2000, Ford sought to remedy that with the Ford Excursion. And of course, since as we all know, bigger is better, this car was bigger than the Suburban. It actually also is bigger than the current Chevrolet Suburban. Anyway, I'm sure you're most interested in learning the secret of this car. Well, it won't be obvious looking at the car quickly, as it's in great condition inside and out. It runs and drives like it should, and it doesn't feel like there's any excessive wear anywhere. However, if you look closely at the instrument cluster, and specifically at the odometer, that's where you'll see it. Yes, that is accurate. Forget covering the distance to the moon. This thing could have done that, hooked up to the lunar rover, and towed it home. Now, I know this isn't that outlandish for many diesel folks, but keep in mind that this truck has its original gas-powered V10. So after this truck turned 500,000 miles, Jason agreed to meet with me uh, up here in beautiful Stowe to get a look at the truck and then have my first excursion in an excursion. So now let's climb aboard and we'll see what it's like to drive a truck that could have gone around the world 20 times. And so here we are inside the Ford Excursion with my friend Jason. Say hi, Jason. Hey, what's going on? All right. <laughs> All right, we're going to get some thoughts on driving this thing. Uh, and first off, since uh, we're in a 50 mile an hour zone and somebody coming, we won't dilly dally here. Hold on. Let's see what it's got. It's got a big, powerful V8. <laughs> Six foot eight liter V8, 310 horsepower, 425 pounds of torque. It's a V10. It's a V10, yeah? He means V10. Got it. <laughs> Once you get going, it's nice and quiet. It is. Yeah. Jason wouldn't know anything about that because he hasn't driven it very far. Right. You know, I, I, I feel so weird to be sitting in the passenger seat because <laughs> I'm always the one driving it. You know, speaking of driving it, I have a little connection with Bill Ford and, um, Recently, the Patriots played the Detroit Lions in Dearborn, Michigan, in Detroit. So, Bill Ford gave us tickets to the game, and he hooked us up with the um, chief engineer for the for the large Ford SUV truck uh, platform. And um, this guy is awesome. I mean, this is a big-time Ford truck engineer. And check the whole truck out. Got in it. Went for a little drive and I uh, said Andrew loved it. And I, I like Ford. I, I'm gonna I wanna give this truck to you. I don't want anything in return. And I'm just gonna give the truck to you. You guys can dissect it, tear it down, whatever you want. Here's the keys, here's the title, it's yours. He said, Jason, don't do that. You know, at Ford our slogan is go further and we wanna see how far it'll go. So when Ford says go further, it's all about it's all about me, it's all about the truck. I've driven this truck further. I've driven <laughs> I've driven Ford Motor Company further. The slogan was supposed to be go further than Jason, but nobody's done it yet. So. Right. So driving this truck was interesting. As proven earlier, it's absolutely massive. But I was surprised at how often I wasn't thinking about that. 
Uh, when you're sitting there looking forward, it sits high and it feels like most any full-size truck. It's really only when you look behind you that you remember that this thing is longer than the biggest of Suburbans. Uh, Although you also notice this size when you pull into town and need to parallel park it. Uh, thankfully, Jason was with me uh, to provide some air traffic control and guide this thing into place. When you start to approach like corners and things like that, uh, being based on the heavy duty truck does seem to help keep the body roll at bay. Uh, but the steering is hardly commutative and has a fair amount of play on center. Uh, so it's probably not a good canyon carver. But who cares? This thing is big, it's comfortable, it has enough power and torque to keep it moving as fast as anybody would dare. The big old V10 doesn't show any signs of stopping anytime soon, so who knows, maybe in a few years we'll get together again for the million mile excursion video. And there you have it. This truck is proof that you don't need a diesel to make your high mileage dreams come true. All it takes is a pretty significant amount of dedication and a substantial investment. Uh, for some insight as to what that investment would be, click the link below for my article on autotrader.com slash oversteer, uh, where I've also done a little bit of math. Uh, trust me, you'll want to see that. Thank you so much for watching.